Breaking news, the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. Let's bring in CNN security correspondent Josh Campbell and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Josh, uh, let me start with you. What do these uh, raids by federal agents in multiple locations tell you about the seriousness of this investigation? Yeah, Wolf, a very significant development here, seeing this law enforcement action taking place. I'll uh, point out, just to be clear at the outset, we don't know that Sean Diddy Combs himself is the subject or target of a federal investigation. So it's just worth pointing that out at this hour. But what we do know is that two properties associated with him, uh, we saw the feds descend on those properties. We saw an aerial footage, uh, federal agents, both here in the Los Angeles area, as well as in uh, Miami at those residences. Now, the Department of Homeland Security, their uh, what's called H. HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, gave CNN a statement. I'll read you part of that when asked uh, about what this activity is. They say that earlier today, HSI New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. That is it, confirming that they are conducting what they're, they're deeming law enforcement action, which could uh, indicate uh, search warrants being conducted there, uh, could indicate arrests being conducted. We just don't know at this hour subsidiary specifically what that law enforcement action is. It is worth pointing out, though, that Combs himself obviously has faced uh, significant legal woes in recent months. I'll give you just a, a kind of a high, the highlights of what uh, actually occurred. Uh, in November, he was sued for rape and abuse by a former partner. That, settle, uh, that lawsuit was then settled very quickly. But in December, he faced sexual assault allegations in a complaint filed in the Southern District of New York. The suit was brought by a woman referred to as Jane Doe, who said that uh, she was 17 at the time time when these allegations uh, took place in back in 2003. Uh, he was accused of sex trafficking and gang rape, among other allegations, also in that suit naming two of his associates. Of course, Combs denied any wrongdoing there. And then just last month, a former employee of Combs filed a suit also uh, in the state of New York, accusing him of sexual assault, of sexual harassment and, quote, grooming. That former employee stated that he had worked for Combs between 2022 and 2023. Among those allegations, this former employee, a male employee, said that Combs did not compensate him for his music production work and forced him to procure and interact with sex workers, threatened him with serving alcoholic beverages laced with drugs to guests at parties at Combs' home. And then uh, Combs' uh, son, Sean Justin Combs, or uh, his son, Justin Combs, was also accused of soliciting prostitutes and underage girls at his father's homes. Again, the Combs have denied any wrongdoing, but just a series of allegations that we've seen taking place. Final point. Point, Wolf, I'll note is that while we don't know the specific allegations or why the feds are at these residences, it is worth pointing out the agency that is conducting this law enforcement activity. It's not the FBI. It's not the DEA or the ATF. This is HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. For those unfamiliar, this is an agency that has long been the forefront specifically at human trafficking investigations. So although we don't have the specifics yet, uh, we're starting to, to you know, we, we can glean just based on which agency has the lead, the direction this might go. Uh, but again, we don't yet know that Combs himself was the target of the investigation. Wolf, well, we do know that at the, this hour that federal agents were at two of his homes, both here in Los Angeles and in Florida, Wolf. Yeah, important points. And Joey Jackson, now let me repeat, we don't know if Sean Diddy Combs himself is under investigation, but clearly, Joey, it's not good if your homes are actually being raided. No, it's not, Wolf. And I think, uh, you know, we, whatever conclusions can be drawn remain to be seen, right? There's not an indictment that we're talking about. That means that we're not speaking of a grand jury having rendered a conclusion, not as to guilt, that's not what grand jurors do, but as to reason to believe that a crime was committed and he committed them. Having said that, whenever you have a raid and an investigation, these things need to be really predicated upon, right, the precursor for this to happen would be some probable cause. Uh, what is that probable cause? We don't know. But let's go back to what Josh Campbell talked about, which are those various lawsuits. Now, lawsuits are civil actions in nature. They're not criminal at all. But what they do is they give authorities some guidelines and guideposts with respect to alleged conduct that was engaged in with regard to who it was engaged in, what activities there were, what it involved. And so that, if there's an investigation, could serve as a source of plentiful information.
That information could be further investigated, right, by certainly uh, the, this Homeland Security Agency. And as a result of that, they can work with their local law enforcement partners. What does that mean? It means that they, collectively law enforcement, try to determine whether there's reason to believe that crimes were committed and, you know, were those crimes carried out uh, and associated in any way we don't know. Uh, you know, with Sean Combs. And so that remains to be seen. But before authorities, Wolf, can get into the home or property of anyone, you have to establish some some firm basis to do that. And that is what at least we can conclude, that they had reason to believe that there were crimes involving sex trafficking, apparently, and that these areas potentially can give more information with respect to the specifics. And I think they would be looking for computer devices and other devices which would seem to indicate or give information as to whether there was any criminality very early in the process. But certainly we know that these have been carried out and we'll see what, if any, information is gleaned to be suggestive of any criminality. Very interesting. Josh, let me get back to you. You know the FBI very well. Under what circumstances would raids like these be conducted? Well, this would require, if it is indeed a search that's being conducted, it would require federal officers, in this case with Homeland Security Investigations, going to a judge and seeking a warrant, indicating that we believe uh, that evidence of a of crime are, uh, could be located in these residences. And then this third party, an independent judge, has to uh, approve that warrant. And then you see take place what's happening now on our screen. I particularly want to focus on, you see that uh, large RV-looking vehicle there. This is the, the mobile command post that federal agencies will send whenever they're going to be somewhere, uh, likely for a long time. I mean, if you look at these residences, we're talking about very large estates. And so, as Joey was mentioning, something as simple as uh, a thumb drive or uh, anywhere where uh, electronic media could be stored, if it's on that warrant, authorities can search that residence top to bottom looking for any type of device, any type of storage uh, mechanism that fits within the four corners of that search warrant. Now, again, I'll, again, I'll caution, we don't know specifically why they were there, uh, it does tell us, I think, that, you know, just because you see that large posture of all of these federal uh, vehicles that are there, including this mobile command post, this was uh, likely not something as simple as an arrest where you show up and you, you, you know, find a person that you're seeking, uh, but likely more along the lines of a search warrant, which falls in line with what HSI told us in that statement when they say law enforcement actions. Uh, that's, you know, something that we often hear from federal agents as a euphemism for uh, conducting some type of search. Uh, but again, both of these residences, both where I am here in L.A., it's just a few miles here uh, from the CNN LA Bureau where this search is taking place. Also in Miami, you see this large cadre of federal agencies uh, descending on those homes. Again, the big question now, what are they looking for? We're waiting for specifics on that uh, as this uh, search continues. And Joey, uh, video shows also shows heavily armed agents entering Diddy's home. How unusual is that? So it's not unusual. I mean, I think that what law enforcement does is certainly they want to be protective of themselves, uh, potentially to deter any type of uh, activity that could occur of a criminal variety. Not that there would be any, but you never know. And so as a result of that, once they are armed, not only armed literally, but armed with respect to a warrant, uh, you know, that would suggest that they have reason to be there, that there's criminality that would be afoot. Potentially, they go, law enforcement does, and they make sure that the area is secure such that they can get any information from that warrant so that they can continue to investigate. Very important to note, Wolf, that these are investigative stages. Warrants are typical in any type of investigation, right? This is the United States of America. Everyone has rights. But you don't get into someone's home without establishing that there may be some what we call indicia of criminality. They now, law enforcement, will evaluate whatever they find in connection with this search. And if that search bears fruit with respect to any potential criminality on any computer devices, any cell phone devices, any, you know, th thumb drives or anything else, then they will connect the dots. And if it's appropriate, they'll move to the next level. And that could lead to something more serious. Again, all speculation at this point. But we know now that they certainly had enough information to be in California and Miami. What stems from that remains to be seen. All right, Joey Jackson, Josh Campbell, to both of you, thank you very, very much.